15 years ago, when I was a parish priest, we did an annual Christmas Eve service for children where we had an interactive telling of the Christmas story. And one year when I got to the section with the Magi and I described the Magi and I said they brought three gifts to the baby Jesus. Does anybody know what those gifts were? And every hand shot up and I asked a child and gold, everyone knew that gold was one of the gifts that the Magi brought. I said there were two other gifts. What was another gift that the Magi brought? Very few hands. Eventually one child raised his hand and called on him and he said, Merkincense? I was like, oh, almost very close. Yes, frankincense was one of the gifts that the Magi brought. And what was the third gift that the Magi brought? And I thought since we'd had merkincense, we would be able to get myrrh. And a little girl raised her hand and I called on her and she said, carrots. And like all good actors, I rolled with it and said, you know, there's a donkey here and a cow and I bet they would have liked some carrots and maybe the Magi did bring them some carrots, but there's one more gift. And then we got to myrrh. But since that service, when you ask me what the gifts the Magi brought to Jesus were, in my head, I hear gold, merkincense, and carrots. We don't know the gospel story perfectly. A lot of things happened at the birth of Jesus that weren't recorded in the gospels. We don't know. We have to think about it and pray with it creatively. And so this year for Christmas, I invite you to think about what parts of the story are in your heart and what your creative imagination has to say about the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. Merry Christmas to you and to all whom you love. Thank you.